Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. Lately, there have been a lot of controversies in the air destroying the Earth faster than World War II ever did. Because of all the controversies, I've decided to try to capitalize on all of this and make a term to describe anybody who talks about a controversy on camera. Controversy! I can't wait to get notoriety for this term. 2020 has been the year of controversies ever since January. We've gotten fires, illnesses, movies not coming out in theaters, but in addition to those, and more, a controversy last year in 2019 has kind of foreshadowed everything to come this year, and that is this. This is Camp Coral, a SpongeBob SquarePants spinoff. Some people may be thinking, SpongeBob's awesome, how can a spinoff possibly go wrong? Well, to answer that, here's an example of a cartoon spinoff from 2010. Not a lot of animated spin-offs do well to begin with, but this one has a long story leading up to how bad this could turn out to be, which I'm going to go over right now before talking about what we know so far. Starting off, the creator of Spongebob, Steven Hillenburg, set his limits for the series, and not having spin-offs was one of them. The first known proof of his thoughts on spin-offs was this article from 2009 showing an interview. Since he always envisioned his show being about Spongebob as the main character, even as much as a few shorts about Patrick, wasn't something he could really see happening. Of course, 2009 was at a time where he didn't have a direct influence on the series, but he still said this before 2018. After working on the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, he returned to the show and officially served as the executive producer again. He wasn't in charge like in seasons one, two, and three, but he enjoyed his return to SpongeBob and loved working with the crew. But then in March 2017, when it was confirmed he was diagnosed with ALS, he said he was going to work on the show for as long as he was able to before he passed away, which later happened in November 2018. While the show was going to continue, Brian Robbins, the current president of Nickelodeon, decided to create, quote unquote, multiple Spongebob spinoffs. He said that he never liked how Spongebob basically stayed the same throughout its life, which was why he decided to go this route. While this does sound like a nice concept, this announcement still made some people skeptical about the future, myself included. Since this announcement came only three months after Hillenburg passed, this seemed like more of a sign than a coincidence. After this, nothing was really said until June 2019. At this point, the first spinoff was announced, called Camp Coral, and it would focus on a 10-year-old Spongebob at Sleepaway Camp, animated entirely in CGI. This definitely takes away some of the charm the original series is known for, but the real triggering point came later that day. Paul Tibbet, a former crew member on the show, went on Twitter and said this, I do not mean any disrespect to my colleagues working on the show. They are good people and talented artists, but this is some greedy, lazy executive in going on, and they all know full well Steve would have hated this. Shame on them. This showed the fandom that Nickelodeon wanted every last penny this show could make, but the original creator wouldn't have approved this. People went so far as to go on Change.org to make petitions to cancel the spinoff. Of course, since we're just the general public, we can't necessarily stop a major corporation from doing stuff they want to do. After this, the chaos died down until November 2019 when the first trailer for the Spongebob movie Sponge on the Run came out and it showed a brief clip of Camp Coral in the film. This is because the film showing this clip was going to lead into the spin-off the following year. I think the CGI looks great and Camp Coral seems okay, but this is for the film which is part of the main series. It feels okay despite a continuity error which I'll cover more in depth later. The following year, the series was confirmed to come out in July 2020, after the movie would come out in May 2020. Guess not. In 2020, this screenshot was posted on Twitter and... Well, now we know why Patrick told us about the ugly barnacle. While this is a high quality image, not just a half ass attempt to try something new, parts of these new designs don't feel right. Why are Patrick's eyes green here when they're normally black in the main show? Some other images I've seen show a young Patrick with the normal black eyes, but they were for merchandise promoting the Spongebob movie Sponge on the Run. It's been stated that the models in the spin-off will be similar but not identical to the models from the movie. Does that make it any more okay? Nope, not at all. 
Later in the year, some more news came out, and now, some of the rage seemed to simmer down. A few crew members on the main show who are also working on the spin-off showed some support for it. Of course, a crew member would promote whatever they're working on, but even Steven Hillenberg himself knew about Camp Coral. According to this, Hillenberg did have a small influence on the movie, and he did approve of Camp Coral being in the screenplay. On another note, Brian Robbins officially became president of Nickelodeon in October 2018, while Hillenberg was still alive. However, it was also confirmed that he spent the last two to three months of his life at home with his family for seemingly obvious reasons. Now, I could be wrong about this next point, so hear me out. Based on the information I heard about when Robbins became Nickelodeon's president around the end of Hillenberg's life, it's possible that Hillenberg approved of Cam Coral being in the third film, but he never thought anybody would try to make it into a series, and Robin came up with that idea when he took his current position. I could be wrong, and Steven Hillenberg could have been okay with the spin-offs. Paul Tibbet hasn't been working on Spongebob for years, and he knew Hillenberg at the beginning of the series. Hillenberg could have changed his mind by 2016. I mean, I don't know, it's my speculation. Now, let's take a look at what we've seen so far with the spinoff. I already went over Patrick's eyes, but there's more. Squidward, Mr. Krabs, Sandy, and Plankton are seen here too. We saw how Spongebob met Squidward in a flashback from episode 240, Truth or Square. When Spongebob moved to Bikini Bottom, a pineapple fell off a ship and landed on Squidward's secret garden, and Spongebob bought it. Spongebob met Sandy in Episode 3, Tea at the Tree Dome, and met Plankton in Episode 7, Plankton. Also, the main series made it clear Sandy spent her childhood in Texas, not underwater. Of course, I might sound like I'm coming up with any reason possible to hate on it, but it's been stated that Robbins himself had not seen this episode. No joke. On the other hand, while we don't know exactly how Spongebob and Patrick met, Episode 69, The Secret Box, showed that they had been friends since they were babies. Also, while Spongebob knew Mr. Kratz before the events of Episode 1, Help Wanted, and we never saw how they actually met, it doesn't make sense why he's in this setting. It's also clear he and Plankton are quite older than Spongebob and Patrick. I didn't mention Gary because he was shown in the Camp Coral flashback in the Spongebob movie Sponge on the Run. However, this alone creates a continuity error in the main series. In episode 333, Treats, we see a framed picture of when Spongebob found Gary at the pound. And later on in episode 355, Plankton's Pet, Spongebob told Plankton he found Gary at the local animal shelter. Pound, animal shelter, potato, potato. But according to the third movie, Spongebob met Gary when he was a kid at summer camp. Personally, I'm willing to give this a pass because the Spongebob Squarepants series is known for bad continuity anyway. This spinoff is going against what any fan would know about the series. Now, I remember hearing that this spinoff was planned to come out in July 2020, but because of what happened, I'm not sure if that's still happening. When the movie was planned to come out in May 2020, I was okay with that, releasing the movie which has a scene that will lead into the spinoff, but because of the August 7, 2020 reschedule, I have no idea what'll happen now. And to make things even worse, we now have this. Also, in episode 187, The Inmates of Summer, Spongebob and Patrick are seen trying to go to summer camp, end up on a prisoner boat, and finally at the summer camp at the end. While this was from season 5 all the way back in 2007, I wonder if anybody at all was inspired by this. However, it's the current adult age Spongebob and Patrick, and before Spongebob even reached its 10th anniversary, so probably not. But even with all of these points, there's one tidbit that everybody will point out whether or not they will watch the spin-off. Why is Camp Coral spelled with two C's in the film, but the title of the spin-off spells it with K's? That pretty much wraps up everything I've heard about the Camp Coral spin-off. I could be wrong about some of these things, especially my theory on when they came up with the idea, but the one thing that won't change is the fact that Nickelodeon didn't announce these plans until after Steven Hillenberg had passed away. If this announcement had come out while he was still alive, then we could have found out how he felt about this idea. If he had said yes, then people would be more okay with the spin-off going. If he said no, but Nickelodeon still continued to go through it anyway, everybody would be complaining non-stop, myself included. I still have my doubts, but who knows, maybe this will turn out to be okay after all. 
I mean, this image alone goes to show how much effort the crew is putting into it. Although, until it comes out, all we can do is predict and wait. But I'll be waiting for the money to start rolling in. Not only did I invent the controversy term, but I'm the first official controversy since I talked about a controversy on camera after the term was invented. Uh, I can't wait to become famous for it. One year later. Yeah, I didn't get any money or accolades for it.